I never want to hear any religious nutbag Republican use the excuse for anything, quote, think of the children ever again. Dies in your house. Exclusively on Lease Coast Radio. The views and opinions expressed on this podcast are that of my own and are not of my employer. Nobody likes me. Nobody likes me. But that's okay, because I don't like y'all anyway. And I don't like y'all anyway. We have until November of 2020 to get our act together as a country, as a nation, to correct this injustice. And the biggest injustice in the world was allowing a foreign power to install a criminal into the White House and turn an administration into a fascist crime syndicate. That must be corrected. And we only have a little, there's only one more election we have to correct it or this whole thing is over. If you don't know what Staten Island is, it's like New York's abortion that lived. I never met any of the founding fathers, but I'm sure if they were listening to Least Coast Radio right now and brand new episodes of Dies in Your House, they would agree with the sentiment. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Least Coast Radio. Get us on Patreon, at Least Coast Radio. Vote. Blue Wave 2020. Let's make it happen. Least Coast Radio for the least heard voices. Every weekend. We here on Least Coast Radio are trying to fight the rising tide of fascism. The noun fascism is usually defined as a governmental system led by a dictator having complete power, forcibly suppressing opposition and criticism, regimenting all industry, commerce, etc., and emphasizing an aggressive nationalism and often racism. Yeah, we don't we don't want any of that in America. So we gotta we gotta stop it. We gotta put out the fire now. Stand out was no joke. As liberals, not even as liberals, as Americans, as patriots, as people that like democracy. The only thing we can do right now to fix our country is use our weapons. And our weapons are our voices, our handmade signs and social media. Get the message out there. Voting. Voting is key. Elections have consequences. If you don't know what Staten Island is, it's like New York's abortion that lived. Representing Staten Island. Staten Island was no joke. Hey, yo. Who's in the house dies in your house. What is the word, peeps? What goes on? It is Saturday. I am Jay Porks. We are back here on Least Coast Radio with another action-packed edition of Dies in Your House. Dies in Your House is a vehicle we use to help encourage people to participate in democracy and to help us fight fascism here in America. Because we don't need fascism rising again like it did in... Well, where else was it? Hey, Google, what is fascism? According to Wikipedia, fascism is a form of radical right-wing, authoritarian ultranationalism characterized by dictatorial power, forcible suppression of opposition, and strong regimentation of society and of the economy which came to prominence in early 20th century Europe. Yeah, if you guys recall, early 20th century Europe wasn't exactly the place to be, okay? And we're trying to fight that. And right now in America, we have a fascist crime syndicate that occupies 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C. And we have to do everything in our power to remove, remove, remove that scum of the earth that is running 
this fascist crime syndicate that was placed there by a hostile foreign power by hacking into American minds using cutouts, military ops, hacking, cyber warfare, crimes. These are crimes. If I walked in your house and stole your mail, <laughs> that would be a crime. You hack my email, that's a crime. But, you know, pause on that for a second. Because, well, not pause, it's all related. Let me ask you one question. I have one question, I just want to know. I just want to have this answer. And by the way, before I get started, I just need to say this. The views and opinions expressed on my podcast are that of my own and not that of my employer who has never been mentioned on the podcast. But I understand that at work today, I may or may not have had some conversation that may or may not have involved me having a podcast. So in case anyone from there is listening, they can pass along the message that every week on my podcast, I've been stating the following. The views and opinions are that of my own and not that of anybody else besides me, not that of anybody that pays me money. So I'm just letting you know, I'm, you know, when I'm working, I'm working, but when I'm not working, I'm trying to save democracy. I'm trying to save this country. Me and a bunch of other people are trying to do that. We, I'm not the only one. No, I'm not. Trust me, there are far, there are far from me. Far from few. Sorry, I had a long day. I'm all hyped up. It's not coffee either. I'm drinking Diet Wild Cherry Pepsi. It's like my favorite drink in the world. But anyway, continuing on. This country, for all its, you know, greatness... Listen, I understand that we don't have it. You know, I understand this isn't like Honduras or Guatemala, or one of these countries that people, or Syria, one of these countries that people are fleeing from to come here. I understand that. So don't get it twisted and think that I'm sitting here saying, oh, this country sucks. I mean, it could be worse, but it's really really like if this was a chart there would be an arrow going down at a very very steep angle the the rotting of institutions in this country the rotting of the moral fiber of literal government officials and by the way people the government works for you works for me these people work for us we elect them and part of the thing, one of the things I do on this podcast is I make it clear. I will not have people not voting, okay? You not voting and not participating in democracy in our free and fair elections is exactly what's wrong with everything that happens. Is exactly why criminals get elected. Oh, well, Jay, they're all criminals, man. They're just going to take your money, and they're going to do this, and they're going to do that. Listen, man, I don't know about you. This is 2019. We all got the internet now. And you know what the internet is? Information. Now, this is not 1940, or whoever the fucking president was at that time. You know, Eisenhower, or whoever was before him. It doesn't matter. The point is, this isn't that time where someone's going to say something, and, like, I'm not going to find out that they lied until, like, 50 years later when it's published in archives. I can find out right now. I can get donor lists right now. It's a public record and available on the internet. All of this information, all of the criminality that's going on is available on the internet. Do not say that you're not interested in politics. Because you not being interested in politics is getting people killed. Big facts, no cap. You not being interested in politics is getting undocumented people snatched up by immigration officers while their children are at the first day of school in Mississippi. And children are coming home, getting off the bus, excited to tell their mom and dad about their day at school, their first day at school, their new teacher, new classmates, where they're sitting, 
what they need, what they're looking forward to, who, which friends are in their class. These kids wanted to explain to their parents about their day. Oh, excuse me, their parents have been snatched up by the government because they weren't, because our government doesn't make it easy, doesn't make it not hard, it's crazy hard, doesn't make it at all feasible for somebody to actually get papers, get documented, get on the books. Because we have a country that doesn't care about doing some sort of real comprehensive immigration reform. But if you want, you know, listen, if you want kids to stop getting, to stop coming home and finding out that their parents have been snatched up by immigration officers, then you gotta vote Democrat. You can't sit there with this fucking, oh, well I'm independent. You know, I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. I didn't ask you what you are. And first of all, you're not a blank freaking canvas, okay? You have needs. You have things you want. Do you want health insurance? Do you want people to not get snatched up by ISIS? By, uh, by ICE? Excuse me. I'm sorry. That is a... That was a, uh, a faux pas. Do you not want people to get snatched up by ICE? Immigration and Customs Enforcement. People who are not a danger, like people that would be in ISIS. People that are not a danger to the community. Do you want to stop seeing kids getting locked in cages? So that you're not independent. You're somebody that needs to come join Team Blue and vote Democrat. We have to fix this country. And I am not going to allow... Me as an American, as a patriot, I can't sit back and not say anything and not talk and not make sure that you understand how important this is. That Trump is not a meme. Trump is a fucking danger to all of our lives. And trade wars on Twitter can turn into nuclear wars on Twitter in a second. Iran bubbling right now something's happening over there and it's all because trump wanted it to because the iran the iran nuclear deal which we pulled out of was a thing that obama got us into which was a good deal was it the best deal i don't really know i'm not a political fucking scientist but here's what i know i know that iran wasn't bubbling they weren't a worry at that time and now, it's like, they are. And like, that's not good. And that's simple. Like, foreign policy, I mean, I thought we were hiring the best people. We got, uh, we got a guy, an American president, who sits down with dictators and mass murderers. Kim Jong-un is a mass fucking murderer who starves his people. This guy's like, he wrote me beautiful letters. Are you fucking crazy? Vladimir Putin, his main goal in life, he grew up watching the Soviet Union fall. Like, his main goal in life is to bring Russia back to, like, not even prominence, just to matter. You know what I'm saying? And, in a systematic effort, known as Active Measures, which is a documentary available on iTunes and Hulu and probably anywhere you, you know, there's a bunch of places it's available. It's called Active Measures, and that documentary shows you exactly how this, how Putin does this stuff, okay? How the Russian government fucks with other countries and puppet and puts in their own figureheads pro-Russia figureheads. And then I would suggest to you, go on Amazon and look up Dirty Rubles, an introduction to Trump Russia, written by my good pal, Greg Oliar, okay, who I had on my podcast, I think it was last year. And Dirty Rubles is a, it's a primer of how these active measures got into an American presidential campaign and got us here, okay? So that's important. It's important that everybody knows that 
Not only should you take my word for it, but there are places to go. All this information is available to you. So don't tell me that all politicians are crooked. You can elect politicians that aren't. It's simple. This is new politics. We shake it like bad girls up in Harlem. New politics, we have information, and we hold people accountable. But I really, 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 really am chapped about the same thing I've been chapped about for how many days are in the year? Every day this year, because how many people need to be shot in this country before we realize that we have a fucking problem with guns, okay? I don't give a fuck about anybody's personal freedom when this many people are getting killed at this high of a rate. Got some numbers here I just want to share from the from the gun violence archive. There have been 255 mass shootings in the United States. We have had 222 days in the year. And let's go over of the toll of the 255. There have been five high profile massacres in the past eight days where more than 100 people were shot. So let's go over it. We had a shooting in, the, in a historic district of Dayton, Ohio, with nine people killed, 27 injured. A shooting at the Walmart in El Paso, Texas, 22 killed, 24 hurt, was the deadliest shooting of the year. A shooting at the Gilroy Garlic Festival in San Francisco Bay Area, with three people killed and 15 injured. A shooting at a Brooklyn block party, with one person killed and 11 injured. And also, a shooting at Walmart in South Haven, Mississippi, with two people killed and two people injured. So let me just get this straight. Not only have we had as many more mass shootings than we have days in the year. Not only do we do nothing about it every time. But this isn't even the first Walmart that had a shooting in the last eight days. Is anybody... Does anybody care about the children anymore? I've already told you, we got ICE. We got the government taking parents away from children. We also have... Children... Getting shot in schools. On the reg. We have people getting shot in Walmart. I'm sure some of those people were parents. Their kids ain't got no parents no more. I'm sure they were husbands, wives, nieces, nephews, cousins, gone, dead, no more. And how many times has the government, has the government that you and I voted into power, how many times have they stepped up to the plate and done something about it? Don't hold your breath. Don't count. The number is zero. And for those people saying, oh, universal background checks would not have stopped this shooting or that shooting. So what does that mean? So you're telling, so we do, so we just let people get shot endlessly? Endless people just get shot every day? And that's okay? If we could stop one bad guy with a law, that law works. Taking guns away from people and not harming anybody. You don't need assault weapons. Why are we not banning assault weapons? Even ju conservative Supreme Court Justice, the late Anthony freaking Scalia, said that assault weapons are not covered under your precious Second Amendment. Which, by the way, you people need to fucking read, because if you read it, you would understand that you are not in an organized militia, okay? And when you're in an organized militia, you're, you're gonna know that you're in one. But, 
These same people, it's like the people that under Obama. Oh, Obama's gonna come take our guns away. Well, what do you need a gun for? Well, I need to protect myself from the tyrannical government. All right, cool. Now these people like Trump. What do you need your guns for? I need to protect myself from the tyrannical government. What do you mean? You won! You got your boy! That orange despot wannabe cunt monkey. You got him! You won! You still need your gun? What about the power of voting? Same thing. There is no tyrannical government. You vote them in. They work for you. This whole illusion that we're not the boss of our elected officials is utter nonsense. And the NRA is a terrorist organization. And that's a fact. And white terrorism and white nationalist terrorism and just this whole white people hating brown people and like one of the shooters, the shooter that's still alive. I'm sorry that I get them mixed up. There's so many because we don't care about people in this fucking country. One of the shooters said I specifically went in there to target Mexicans. The same day ICE was in Mississippi snatching parents, snatching people from their homes, from their jobs, from schools. What kind of, what kind of country are we living in? And I understand, I mean, I don't understand because I'm white. <laughs> but I understand that I don't understand. And that's better than understand. I've never been a black person, so I don't know what it's like. But with all these people getting shot and the government doing nothing about it and all the racism that just runs rampant all the hate against every group that is not in a white nationalist you know Irish whatever I don't even know Aryan nation whatever you know I hear from like people from like on TV I see Al Sharpton and he says like you know this is the country that black people have lived in the whole time. And that's just insane. And I'm sorry if I think that's unacceptable. I'm not saying that we could abolish racism. But I'm saying that if you're not taking one step towards trying to solve the problem, you're taking five steps back, making this a worse problem. <clears throat> it's not PC culture. Oh, people are too politically correct nowadays. No, people were allowed to be racist for way too long. And what happened was, is that they empowered white nationalists to basically reform the Ku Klux Klan, only this time they're wearing red hats. Don't tell me that that red hat's not a Klan outfit. Because that's what that is. That's the millennial Ku Klux Klan. That's the new Ku Klux Klan. That's what we'll call that. The New Klux Klan. The NKK. The Nook. Or New could be with a silent K. It could still be KKK. The New Klux. New Klux Klan. Like, we knew this shit was gonna happen when we didn't, you know, address racism, you know, back when we should have all of those times ago. Every opportunity we had when we didn't do enough. This is what happens. The combination of that. And a country that has more guns than people. And Walmart getting shot up, which sells guns. Now, I know you're going to say, Jay, Walmart doesn't sell assault-style weapons anymore since 2015. That's been fact-checked. I, I didn't. I saw a headline that said that. I don't know exactly if that's true. But I know that Walmart is one of the biggest sellers of guns in America, period. Okay. And I know that Walmart, to combat this, you know, to, to, to answer, you know, the call, to really step up to the plate on this issue, what they did was they removed advertisements for video games. Because that's the Republican talking point, that video games did it. It was video games. Anybody that thinks that video games cause mass shootings 
has never met someone who plays video games. People that play video games are not going out and tactically shooting people with assault weapons. They're not doing that. That's not a thing. The lie detector determined that that was false. And that talking point is brought to you by the NRA, which is a terrorist organization. The gun lobby, which by the way, let's go back to the active measures before, let's go back to Russia. During the campaign, the NRA gave $30 million to the Trump campaign. Yeah, I'm sorry. Give $30 million to the NRA to support the candidate. But that was masked. Like, so the NRA gave, like, it was like, it was shown as the NRA gave Trump $30 million towards his campaign. Right? And they've only given eight. Like, the max they've given was eight before. But in actuality, active measures that were taking place was... Russia funneling that money into the NRA so that they can have all of, because the NRA is in disarray. The NRA is having money problems or so they claim. And what we need to do is we need to vote out politicians that take NRA money. We need to march for our lives. We need to do what those kids are doing. Because those kids stepped up, and you know what they did? They red string people to vote everywhere they go. And you should be doing the same. And you should tell all your friends, man. Tell the people that aren't into politics. Be like, listen, I know you're not into politics, but could you do me this favor? Because I, I don't want to get shot. Like, I, I was going to a concert the other night. Me and my friend Pam were going to a concert the other night. Alice in Chains and Corn. Uh, it got canceled because of the rain. But we were in the parking lot in the car, chilling, and I'm thinking like, yo, this is like an open area that we're about to be in, like, we could get shot. You know what I'm saying? And just think about, like, do you want to walk around worried about you can get shot? Now, do you want to talk to me about which is the best plan for background checks and all that? I'm sure we can, listen... We can get it done quick, but we can have a day where we look at like three different options or whatever the case may be. But as far as assault weapons, AR-15s, I don't understand how these things are still, how you're still able to acquire these things. If you're not like in the military about to be dropped out of a helicopter into a war zone. Like I get it. I get that, that the army needs those guns for war overseas. We don't need that here. And for Amnesty International to be issuing an alert, like, to the world, telling people if you're traveling, you know, to the United States, you need to be careful. Like, we're that country now. This is America. Don't catch you slipping up. And slipping up would be not rocking the vote, not exhausting the vote, not overwhelming the vote in 2020. We could sit here and argue about which of the 20 Democrats we want. Fact of the matter is this. All 20 of those fucks are better than this fuck. And it's not even close. None of those 20 people are a danger to America. Okay? Let's just get it right there. So please, for the sake of people getting shot, Every single day in this country. More mass shootings than days in the year. Just think about that. For the sake of them. For the sake of those children coming home from school to find out that their parents. Have been taken. By the government. Because the government didn't create a system where they were able to. You know seamlessly. Get documents. And be citizens. To come home and not find their parents. Their parents are gone. They don't know where they are. Do you, I mean, for the kids in the cages. Do me a solid. 
You got to get out there. And you got to vote blue to save America. Dies in your house. Exclusively on Least Coast Radio.